All right, looks like we got something in from the FedEx truck. Let's see what we got. All right, we have one massive order from Gear Wrench here. This is huge. Two pallets. This tool shed is coming alive, folks. Can't wait to get inside and see what we got all together here. We're gonna go through each one, one by one, and uh, make this disaster turn into a dream. Let's check it out. All right, here it is, clean slate tool shed disaster from three years this is a property line that's a property line and yeah we went through all heck trying to get this going but it's here to stay and we have a super clean slate here it's gonna be a while before i see it this clean again <laughs> so yeah definitely want to get some good footage of this nice and empty for these awesome boxes right here we have the six drawer right here to start off with, let's open this one up. It is the six drawer cabinet 83243. Let's open her up. First up is this six drawer, 36 inch GSX rolling tool cabinet. It comes with no casters installed, locked. So we're gonna have to get these keys out and open her up. All right, so there's no auto lock after locking all the drawers. So you're gonna have to unlock it to lock it back up. Then all of them are locked. But you do get a tubular style lock, which is nice. Way better than the flat blade keys that can possibly break off. Okay, now each drawer has a lever along the whole rail here, which unlocks these two locking tabs on the end. So grab it anywhere to open any drawer. We have the casters here in a box. And we have the handle along with the hardware and instructions. And underneath this cardboard, we have the drawer liners. We'll open these up in a bit. All right, now first step, grab a buddy, because this is heavy, tilt it on its side. Use cardboard if you have to. I have a nice vinyl floor here, so it's not gonna get scratched. Second step, figure out where you want your straight casters versus your swivel casters. I will put the handle on this side and make this a swivel side. So definitely keep that in mind when you put these together. These are five inch casters by two. And there's only a break. There's no swivel lock. So just break only on the caster itself. These are 450 pound casters all together. And you get nice rails here with nut certs for added structure. And uh, this is all the hardware here. Chuck this off to the side. All right, casters are in. This 90 tooth does help out a lot better than that wrench. Handle is in, it's got a nice curve on here. The texture coating here on everything is working out quite nicely. Hides a lot of the scratching and whatnot when you get with a regular glossy black coat. You gotta nice textured black coat here it hides a lot of stuff just had all the hardware on here and i can just feel right now that this is actually a pretty good coating here compared to the glossy which smears everything and you got to constantly wipe it this makes it a lot easier to clean so yeah pretty cool curve on this handle you can put it in either way looks like we have a warning here that voids the warranty if you install it in a truck van or ute so keep that in mind as well. Lock the casters, 
grab a buddy and put it back down on its side. All right, so it's just one more step versus the 35 inch seven drawer tool cart on my other video with the seven drawer tool cart. Now we gotta install the liners, pretty simple. Just stack them up. Check out Shop Tool Reviews, his channel. He has a cool tip for these. He's got a nice little way of holding these down so they don't slide up on you and wrinkle up when you open and shut with the tools inside. So check out his channel on his box style. He installed the liners. So other than that, we just got to check out the drawers here and check out the inside. All right, closer look at the drawers here. They have a nice textured finish also as well. It's kind of a non-glossy finish. There's the lock right there. Easily removable by these tabs. One goes one way, one goes the other way. Here's a closer shot of the bar that you're actually pulling up on when you open each drawer. Spring-loaded lock. And at the end of the rail, we have this little divot here that goes into if you can see it right there, you can switch this, but once it gets back on there again, it's going to have this action again. So if you switch that, it'll stop right about here every time. But once you push it forward or the weight of the tools push it forward, it goes back to this spring loaded action here. It's not soft close. So keep that in mind. It's not soft close. It's an actual little spring detent that keeps it back. So I managed to put that drawer up here, but if you wanna put those two drawers right here, you're gonna to have to do some fabrication level 10 status here to put the little notches there to put the rails in and also the back too, cause there's no notch for the locking mechanism. But all, so far, if you wanna do that, it's gonna take a little bit. So that's cool that we get to see that. Also the bottom drawer has two rails these are all 100 pound drawers, so 100 pounds on each one. So that can hold probably a little bit more. So there you go on that. Let's go on to the other boxes. All right, looks like we have right here in the big box, the 83245 41 inch 11 drawer cabinet. And back here we have around the corner, the 83241 26 inch five drawer cabinet. Let's open both of these up. Whew, it's quite a chore. All right, next up we have the 26 inch five drawer rolling tool cabinet from the GSX line. Pretty much the same thing. We have the 3 8 foam topper here, same crinkle finish and uh, same locking status. So the rest are locked, but when you unlock it, it'll sink in and lock for you. So same thing on the bottom drawer, we have all your stuff here, the casters, same bar, hardware, and the liners underneath. But only one rail for the bottom drawer on this one. It is rather narrow, so let's get this one together. All right, so this one's a little easier to assemble. I believe your average person can assemble this by themselves without any help. You can put the handle on both sides, so this is the same handle. Same 450 pound capacity casters with the rails and the nut certs underneath. We have the same missing notches here so you cannot swap out the drawers. There's the locking system right there. And yeah, the drawers, once again, we have only one rail on the bottom drawer. So it's 100 pound capacity per drawer. And there you have it, the 26 inch GSX right there for you. All right, last but not least, we have the granddaddy of them all. What's cool about this one is that the casters are already installed, the 450 pound casters that are the same on all the other boxes. That is cool right there. We have the 11 drawer 41 inch box here, which is pretty cool. Let's 
open it up. Let's see if it does have the feature where we can close it back up. I believe this one does. So okay, let's lock it up here. So can't open up any of these. Looks like we can't shut any of those. Can we shut this one? Looks like we can. So just the top drawer only on that. So let's open it back up here and let's see. Yeah, we got the liner and the handle at the bottom. Just got to put those in. Super simple setup on this one. Let's get it all together. All right, handle is in, drawer liners are in. You can also put the handle on the other side, just like all the other boxes. The same with the casters, you can swap them around if you want. Same plate underneath, just like the other boxes. Only one slide for the top drawer here. All the other drawers, 100 pounds as well, with one slide, except for the bottom two. The bottom two do have double slides on each side, which is nice. So they'll hold a little bit more. Pretty cool. The 11 drawer toolbox. Let's do some measurements of all three and compare them all. Well, all right, this was quite a chore getting all these together, but uh, here we have all of them side by side. The Gear Wrench GSX full tool cabinet line right here, all three. The 41 inch sits pretty nice and high up here. Very good high level on the upper drawer. The 36 a little lower here and then down to the smallest, the 26. All right, when we remove them off the pallets, they all look different depths, but now that they are all aligned together, they measure just over 18 and a quarter. So 18 and a quarter is your total depth of each. All right, the 41 will run you just a hair over 41 and just a hair over 45 with the handle and just a hair over 42 inches high. The 36 inch tool cabinet will run you 36 and a quarter and 40 and a quarter with the handle and just over 38 and a half inches high. The 26 inch tool cabinet will run you almost 27, 26 and three quarters and a little over 30 and a half and a little bit over 37 on the height. All right, on the largest cabinet here, we have 36 and a half on the top drawer. All the drawers on the middle one here are 31 and a half, just a little bit over 31 and a half. And then all the length on the smallest 26 inch box here are 23. The width of the left side of the large box is 21 and a half. On the left side, the right side is 13 and a half. And every single cabinet here is 15 inches deep on all the drawers. All right, now I'm going to get a little bit of OCD here with the inner drawer height clearance of each of the drawers on the inside heights to clear the tools that you're gonna have inside. All six of these upper ones right here are all the same. All four of these upper ones are the same and the upper two right here are the same. But this one right here is a little bit wider. So all the shallow drawers are gonna be two and three quarters inch, the clearance on the inside. So the height is two and three quarters. But this next one down here is just a little over three and a half. It's the only drawer that's different than all the other drawers. This is the only one that's gonna have the three and a half inch drawer. And if you look down here below, there's a little bit different on the bottom, but um, this definitely, you can see it's a little bit higher. This one's gonna be nine and a half, and all these other ones are gonna have a nine inch clearance on the bottom. So that one's just a slightly a uh, little higher than the rest. And then the next row up, these are all six, all the way down here, that one's six as well. So these two drawers right here are gonna be slightly different on the 26 inch. And um, I'm just gonna actually measure this one right here, because this is the most important one, because this is gonna have your deep sockets and whatnot on this upper drawer. This one's gonna run you four and a half, just a little over four and a half inches deep on that one, so you can have your socket clearance on that one. So there you go on the drawer height on the inside. 
All right, now the good old GW sent out this massive, massive catalog here. This is the 2021 catalog. Uh, they do have some of their, yeah, the new handle stuff in here. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's not available at the moment, and uh, I don't know if it'll be, ever be available, but if you have any questions, I can look stuff up for you. Uh, I'll try to get back to you as uh, best as I can, so comment down below if you have any questions. Hopefully, I'll get back to you soon. Uh, I mainly wanted to go through this uh, tool storage section here to show you the tool chests that are available for each tool cabinet. The 41 inch one is the A3244. There is some USB ports and outlets in here, uh, along with a long drawer on that one. The same size upper chest area for the 36 inch one up here, both same size here. This is the 83242, also comes with four outlets and two USB ports. The 26 also has a chest, it's a little bit more shallow up here. Uh, all the drawers go straight across. This is the 83240. And um, yeah, the cart here this is the video on the cart here. I showed this video a while back, so if you wanna see that one, uh, that is the 83246. And this one's been around for a while. This is the mobile workstation. This is the 83169. This one's cool, it has cabinets on the side. It also has outlets, I believe, in there as well. It's a little bit wider and has more options around the whole um, cart right there. That one's cool. This is the four drawer uh, cart. This is the 83168. That's cool right there with the lid on it. And uh, they have a two drawer. This is the 83167 and a three drawer steel toolbox. That's cool. And um, this is, yeah, that's the 83151. I believe these are all available. I just saw this one on Amazon because I do have it. This is right here. This is pretty cool. It's uh, just a simple box. Um, that one is available on Amazon. I just looked that one up. This is 83130. So that's cool right there. And they also have a plastic box the 83148, the 83146 handle tote bag, 16 inch, and a 16 inch bag, 83147. That is their full complete tool storage line right there. Well, all right, with my garage here, the flooring, the lighting, everything coming together all at the right moment. I couldn't have timed this any better with the gear wrench here. This is amazing, guys. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff here. Definitely, definitely subscribe to see more. I will be doing a ton of stuff here with Gear Wrench. It is awesome to get out of these mobile smaller containers here and getting into more stationary items is going to satisfy my OCD and I will be dialing everything in. This is cool, I'm gonna be loading up these top drawers here right now and loading up all the drawers and I'll let you know how they do. They're all 20 gauge steel, everything's 20 gauge steel. There is a three year warranty on everything. So yeah, we'll see how these do. Pretty cool. I'm going to be, yeah, finally moving into something more stationary. I'm gonna figure out maybe some type of bench all the way across. So this is gonna look sweet, guys. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be so satisfying. I will have a super, super clean setup here. Uh, just picked this up off of Home Depot online. This is pretty cool. This has some magnets here, attaches to the fender and sticks on there, protects the fender. Um, oh, here we have some uh, trim items here that they sent out with the new handles. So I will be your new handle expert. So everything is gonna be orange now. So when you think of gear wrench, we're gonna be thinking orange. So definitely, I see a cool future here with Gear Wrench. So yeah, when you think of orange, you think of Gear Wrench. And last but not least, guys, here, we are gonna be looking at my most favorite drawer so far. Yeah. We have a new Gear Wrench bottle opener added on to the line here. Had this one for a little bit here. Definitely cool, it's gonna be beer 30 right now because yeah, it is very exhausting <laughs> going through all of these right here, taking them off the pallets, taking them off the crates and everything, assembling these. Yeah, it is time for a cold one, guys. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. 
and on to the next. Thank <laughs> you.